Well, I don't know for sure just when I was birthed. They didn't keep no record in like they do now. I, I think Master Deeds keeps some kind of record on us. That he been dead a long time. Time for freedom in Louisiana. They refugees us to Texas in the wagons. Uh, we travel all day and all night and had to sleep on the ground. It didn't take us long to get to Calvert out there in the bottom of Texas. And they put us on a barden plantation. <laughs> we was out there digging potatoes in the fields, and the Yankees pull up in two big wagons. And they tells us to come off the fields and freeze us. There wasn't no celebration about it. And Master say us can stay there till us decide what to do. Well, then something funny happened there. The slaves all drink out of that well. They, they drink in the morning and have awful cramps by dinner time. And in the evening, they's dead. Dies like flies. So fast they, they couldn't even make coffins for them. They just sew them up in sacks and bury them that way. Hmm. Well, some of the slaves say they think Master put some poison in that well. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened, but it sure look funny. <laughs> freed once before, really free, June 19th. <laughs> oh, swing, swing, swing. Oh, swing, little Coralie. Throughout the 1990s, Juneteenth continued to enjoy a growing and healthy interest from communities and organizations throughout the country. The Smithsonian Institution, the Henry Ford Museum, and others have begun sponsoring Juneteenth-centered activities. I think it's actually growing in terms of a celebration to look more fundamentally at the African-American experience and perhaps uncover aspects of it that we have not fully understood. It's just good for whites and blacks and browns to understand each other. Then they find out, oh, they're not as bad as I thought they were, if that's what they were thinking. Even the northern cities of Milwaukee and Minneapolis now host two of the largest Juneteenth celebrations in the nation. From as far away as Japan, the legacy of Juneteenth is celebrated. First of all, I celebrate the day starting at Ashton Villa in Galveston, Texas, and that's where I've been since 1979. I started off giving thanks to God at the same place where Garden Granger made the announcement that we were set free. This year uh, for Juneteenth, we're going to go out to the St. John Colony celebration in, in Caldwell County, which is a long-standing celebration. It's very large, and there's free barbecue, there's baseball games, and a lot of good food. So it's a day off for a lot of people. So there are parades, uh, there are um, uh, picnics, and then there are programs where people can stop and talk about it and enter into a dialogue. It's a religious day. It's a day that in the morning when I get up, I thank God, just like anybody else would, that I'm free. I would say that there's an increased appreciation for um, the celebration, and so if anything, it's gotten larger. The Juneteenth experience offers important lessons for all Americans. The whole black struggle to gain equality is important, not only for blacks to know, but for all peoples to know. So for me, it ends in a hopefulness that society has made progress. I think it's important that we remember it. I think it's important because it's very much a part of our culture. Juneteenth, there's always going to be the issue of social justice, social inequality, the issue of civil rights. It, that those are reoccurring themes throughout history. And Juneteenth represents the struggle to have all those things. Oh, keep your lamp a trimmed and a burning. By being sensitive to the conditions and experiences of others, we can then make significant and lasting improvements in our society. I would like for them to, to historically know the significance of it. If you don't want to celebrate, you don't have to celebrate. You know, but I'd like for you to know the importance of it. That's why I say it's so important that 
families teach their children about the history of Juneteenth. If you can't think of anything else and you hear the word Juneteenth, it should immediately go to your conscious mind that that's the day that the slaves were set free in Texas in 1865, June 19. In cities all across the U.S., people of all races and religions come together to truthfully recognize a period in American history that continues to influence our society today. Whether it is called Juneteenth or the 19th of June, it is a significant day for all of us to celebrate our precious freedom.